Tubb inspired some of the most devoted fans of any country artist and his fans followed him throughout his career, long after the chart hits dried up. He remained, as did most of his peers, a fixture at the Grand Ole Opry where he continued to appear. He continued to host his midnight jamboree radio program a few blocks away from the Opry at his record shop. A notable release in 1979, The Legend and the Legacy paired Tubb with a who's who of country singers on the Cache Records label, a label which Tubb was connected to financially. This long out of print duets album was re released in 1999 as a CD on the First Generations label, on the 20th anniversary of its release, and it quickly went out of print again. In 1980, he appeared as himself in Loretta Lynn's autobiographical film, Coal Miner's Daughter with Roy Acuff and Minnie Pearl. His singing voice remained intact until late in life when he fell ill with emphysema. Even so, he continued to make over 200 personal appearances a year, carrying an oxygen tank on his bus. After each performance he would shake hands and sign autographs with every fan who wanted to stay. Health problems finally halted his performances in 1982. He died from his illness in 1984 at the Baptist Hospital in Nashville, Tennessee. He is buried in Nashville's Hermitage Memorial Gardens.